Welcome to this new Rosa Photo video tutorial. Today we're going to talk about shooting from a helicopter. Maybe when you watch this video you just booked a helicopter flight and you wonder with what kind of settings you can take the best photos. This video is for you. So enjoy watching and if you want to receive notifications when we upload new videos please subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss any new video anymore. If you ever have the opportunity to take photos from a helicopter, just do it because it's so much fun. Um, but not maybe the easiest type of photography. And I want to give you some tips if you are going to take photos from a helicopter. So first of all, the most important thing if you're in a helicopter is the helicopter uh, moves. So it's not that it's just hanging in the air and you don't feel anything. No, it moves a little bit. And apart from that, um, it also flies. And because it has speed, it is sometimes hard to take sharp photos. So the most important thing about uh, shooting from a helicopter is your shutter speed. Your shutter speed has to be fast. And in this case, I use 1 800th of a second, which is pretty fast. But I notice it is really needed to get a good sharpness. Um, other settings important for uh, shooting from a helicopter. Uh, the aperture is not so important and the main reason is because you're so far away from the, the subjects. In this case the Empire State Building. I don't know the distance but I think it was at least um, maybe 70, 80 meters away. Uh, with those distances uh, if you shoot with an aperture of f4 or f8 or maybe f16, the difference in the depth of field is, uh, is not visible because the distance between you and the subject where you focus on, in this case the Empire State Building, is so far away so it doesn't have any influence in the depth of field of the photo. So it is okay to shoot with uh, a wide aperture and that's good because uh, you can capture uh, grab as much light as needed and that makes sure your ISO is not getting too high. As you can see the ISO is 640 in this photo wow. uh, and that's because the shutter speed was pretty fast and there was not too much light uh, when I was there in the helicopter. So one thing to avoid, maybe you think, okay, if I have to do those settings every time for every photo in a helicopter, uh, I can maybe only make a few photos because in general the helicopter flights are very short, about 15 minutes. So you don't want to waste too much time to set all the right um, uh, settings in the camera. So what I did uh, during the flight was I used uh, the manual mode. I set the shutter speed in 1 800th of a second. I set the aperture to f4 and the ISO I kept it automatic. So that basically means that the ISO goes up only if needed. And that's a very good thing to do because it goes up when there is less light, it goes down when there is a lot of light. And because of that, I don't have to change my ISO settings all the time. So that's a very smart trick to apply. So if you want to shoot sharp photos from a helicopter, make sure your shutter speed is fast enough. If you see the photos are not super sharp, just increase, uh, make the shutter speed even faster. Because uh, this, uh, in this photo, the 1 800th of a second work out but if the helicopter flies a bit faster maybe you need one thousandth of a second or even faster so let me know what you think about this video below don't forget to like this video and to subscribe to our youtube channel i wish you a safe and good helicopter flight and don't forget to share your images with us did you like this photography video please like this video and check out our recommended video for more tips